I'm Anil Kumar and here is another very common and interesting pattern. The question here is how many line segments would it take to join 10 dots to every other dot? All right. So that's the question. So that is to say if we have 10 dots kind of placed like this, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. In that case, and if you are joining by one line segment, how many line segments will be there? So that's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, such questions, we should try to uh, follow a pattern and record the values. So what we will do here is we'll begin with one dot and record the values in a t-chart, right? So, so we'll kind of observe the pattern and then conclude the result. That's the method which we are going to follow. So the question is how many line segments would it take to join 10 dots to every other dot. So let's say we have on this column number of dots right and then we will have number of segments. So let's begin with one dot. So if I have one dot, in how many ways can I join it to others? Well, there's no other. So for one dot, the number of segments is zero, right? Now let's take two dots. So if I take two dots out of these 10, then the number of ways is, is just one, right? So I could just join them with one line segment. So we get one. How about three dots? So if I introduce the third dot, and try to join this with the previous two, then I have two more line segments. Do you see that? So what I find here is that we have plus two line segments and that gives us one, two, three, right? Or one plus two as three, okay? If I introduce another dot to this list, then what happens? So if I add this dot to the list, now this dot can be connected with three of them which are already there. So that means we are looking for three more, right? Three more segments. And these three more segments are one, two, right? And think this is a segment, okay? Third one. So three plus three gives us six and you can count and verify, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. How about the fifth one? So likewise, if I keep on adding dots, I know fifth one will need four more connections, right? So I'll not show it this time, but I'll continue with my table. So I can add four to existing six to get the new number, 10. And for six, what should I do? I should add five, do you see that? So 10 plus five is 15. And for seven, I can continue with this list, correct? For seven, I have to add previous one, which is six, right? So which is six and uh, then I get 21 here, right? Similarly, I can continue this pattern. So what I see here is that the number of handshakes or number of segments which we are joining between the two points is related between the number and its previous number. Six and seven relates 21, six and five relates 15, five and four relates 10. Okay, how? This is what we'll figure out. 5 and 4 relates 10, that means, that means, if I multiply 5 and 4, it is equals to 20, and if I divide this by 2, it is equals to 10. We know, since the number is increasing by a different number, addition is not the solution. Do you see that? It's not linear. It's a non-linear relation. So we are looking into non-linear. where the numbers are not increasing by the same amount, right? So here, what we see is numbers are increasing by different amount. Is that okay? It is increasing by different amount each time. When that happens, we have to look for multiplication. And here we find a pattern. 
If I do 5 times 6, rather I should write 6 times 5, 6 times 5 is 30, and if I divide this by 2, I do get my number 15, which I'm looking for. 7 and 6, 7 times 6 is 42, when divided by 2 is 21, right? So for 8, what should I get? 8 times 7, which is 56, divided by 2 is 28. Now, do I get this by adding 7 to 21? Because that is another pattern, right? 21 plus 7 is also 28, so it works. Now, applying this rule, you can find 9th and 10th, but I'll write down 10th directly as 10 times 9, which is 90, divided by 2 is 45, correct? So we should get 45 here, is it okay? But what you should do is, you can pause the video, test it out, add 8 and 9, and see whether you really get 45 as we got here. So here you learn a strategy to find pattern rules and then from those rules we can find the solutions to big numbers also. If I say if there are 100 dots then how many segments are required? The answer will be 100 times what number? 1 less than 100 which is 99 right? So that means 9900 divided by 2. Do you get the idea, right? So, so likewise, we can find the answer. So 9900, 9900 divided by 2 gives us 4950. So we get 4950 as our answer. So we don't really have to really do it. We can extrapolate or we can find it out using our explicit formula, right? So the formula here is for n dots, how many segments do we have? We have n times n minus 1, 1 less than n, and then divide by 2 segments, connecting them. So that is how we can get a rule, and this is, this is the pattern rule for us in the given situation, right? Okay, so that's how you find. I hope you find it very interesting. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.